Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, July 9th, 2021. I'm the Drunk Poker with Tisbeer Time. How you doing? You doing okay? I mean, if you work Monday to Friday, it's Friday. It's a weekend. It's summer weekend, too. It's supposed to be decent weather this weekend. It's not bad today. It's still a little cool, but I mean, you could have a fire pit. You got a fire pit? You have a fire pit. That's good. Get some beers. Some people. You can have the peoples. If you got the vaccination, you get the peoples. Right? Everybody get together. We're doing that tomorrow night. Family. Everybody get the vaccinations. We're going to hang out outside, of course. But still, it's good. Tonight, we're going to drink some beers. I hear rumors tonight. Rumors happening that, you know, a couple of rumors. Number one, going to be dining restaurants opening next week, so <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, number two, uh, you guys seen Brother Mike drinks beer. Have you seen Brother Dave drinks beer? Perhaps. We'll see. He's coming down. So, From our friends at Collective Arts here in Hamilton and, oh no, sorry, wrong one, Collective Arts in Toronto. Wow. <laughs> Dumb. It's, it's an embolly, you jackass. <laughs> from our friends Collective Arts Toronto and our friends at Fairweather comes Flower and Song. Lager with Elderflower, 5%. Interesting. Why not? Why, how do I think it's Hamilton? Well, I bought it in Hamilton. Well, I had it delivered in Hamilton. Beautiful artwork. Stunning, as always. I have a few different Collective Arts glasses. I should buy some more because they're, they're, just, they're pretty. They can just replace all my other glasses. Nobody would even know. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. Nobody's going to know. So they used hops to help bring out the floral expressions, and then they had the elderflower to make more flower. I don't know. I just wanted a lager. I mean, it's 8.30-ish, so it's late. Like, I haven't had a beer yet. I've been home since 4.30, um, watching the Mad Men's. So there we go. Let's go. Cheers, my friends, to beers on Friday night. So you got yourself a clean, crisp lager. Definitely nice. You can feel that nice malt base to it. Um, there's a slight bit of bitterness on the back. But there's definitely a touch of citrus and a very nice floral note in there. Probably from the elderflower. Like, have you ever think about putting elderflower in your beer before? Have you ever think about that in your whole life? No, of course you haven't. Why would you? I didn't think of it. These guys thought of it. They're brilliant. It's good. It's, it's refreshing. It's, it's not your average lager, which is kind of nice. Because I have lots of, you know, good lagers in the fridge. I always do. It's always good to have lagers in the fridge. But... It's nice to have something a little bit different, you know, a little bit. Yeah, there, yeah, see, there's this bit of bitterness that's lingering, and floral and a little spice, almost. Okay, huh? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. All right. So this was another meandering journey through whatever happens to pop into my head when we turn the camera on. Thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow, briefly. Um, if we can get Brother Dave to do beer videos he, he wants to do it apparently so that's cool i don't have we don't talk about these things we're just brothers how you doing you okay all right i'm okay too and then we move on we get a beer but uh we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go enjoy this you enjoy your friday night we'll see you tomorrow cheers every time my brother's on the tv they're they're handsome fellas skinny skinny guys in shape guys good looking fellas but i'm the smart one 